This is Tree Leaf and Taigu again for the last of the ten ox herding pictures in the world. This is where you are, where I am, outside this heavy traffic and beautiful gentle rain, spring rain, taking all the cherry blossoms down. And very soon the bare trees will witness the coming of the summer. This world I cannot escape. You cannot escape. Nobody cannot escape this world. This is our freedom. We can't escape it. This is just our home. So once we sit, we sit then, we just accept things as they come, as they go, we have to get up. We have to go down the Hermitage. We have to go back to life as it is and meet life as it is in a more dynamic form. We shouldn't think that Shikantaza stops. It's like a bell ringing, permeating everything. So, it is us, with us, us, into the world. And the first practice is not to be seen, not to be noticed. We fully merge with reality. We don't try to stand out. We don't try either to make things stand out. Very ordinary thing, very ordinary life, in daily chores, every day at work, at home, conversations in cafe or wherever you are, the Dharma speaks and you don't even know it. The second practice is to see other people and sentient beings stones, trees, stuff, faces as Buddha to fully bow inwardly because you're not going to do it physically people might not understand it but to fully bow inwardly as much as possible to this wonder this reality of enlightenment is life itself so you're not coming down from the hermitage to teach and preach you are coming down from the hermitage to learn study and open yourself in activity and listening. I mean, in the text, it's beautifully written. It is said at the end, I visit the wine shop and the market, and everyone I look upon becomes enlightened. Now that's the real treasure of this practice, you see. It didn't make me a Buddha. Why should it? Why should I be aware of it? I don't care. But it makes me increasingly aware of how precious, how tremendously rare and precious this life is. As it comes, as it goes. I'm not just speaking about the space, the gap between birth and death. I want to speak about the whole thing, including disappearing.
appearing, disappearing, great. Not to be noticed. To see everybody, every single sentient being as Buddha. And fully merge with the ordinary. Completely. This dynamic side of Shikantaza has a real purpose. If we get trapped into the Samadhi side of things, if you're only caught by the still state and you don't come out of it, you are trapped. Originally in monastery, the schedule was the teacher. And the schedule used to balance time of sitting, time of working, time of sleeping, resting. Of course in our daily life, modern life, we have a very important schedule and we often struggle We struggle more than in the past. Practice in the monastery is easy. Lazen is just written down and you go for it. Bang, 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 bang. You can hear the wood. Boom, 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 boom. And you go and sit. The bell, boom, boom. Everything is gently rhythmical, musical and you're carried away. In this modern life, you've got to make it all happen. There's a trem tremendous amount of willpower which is needed. That's why it's, it's more difficult to be a, a lay person sitting than a monk in a monastery. Of course, you've got some things missing in a monastery. And these things missing can make your life pretty hellish for a while, but it just goes. So we shouldn't fool ourselves and think that uh, monastery life or hermitage life is is easy as opposed to uh, is difficult. I would say, or easy even. We all have difficulty in the monastery and in modern days in daily life. Shikantaza carries on through the movements of your mouth, of your arms, through your bowel movement even. Doesn't stop. Allow it to flow, allow it to ring with all these sounds around, allow it to dance with this very colourful universe. Thank you for your practice. And allow the non-doing to penetrate the doing. This is the real challenge. Take care.